Osteoporosis is a common condition worldwide. There are several strategies and techniques that you can use to help to prevent this painful condition and to manage this painful condition. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome to today's episode of Dr. Ozello Sports Medicine Report, where I'm gonna cover osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is defined as low bone mineral density caused by altered bone microstructure, ultimately predisposing patients to low impact fragility fractures. Osteopenia is often confused or sometimes used together with osteoporosis, but osteopenia is lower normal bone mineral density below the normal reference values, but not low enough to meet the diagnostic criteria of osteoporosis. Numerous factors contribute to decreased bone mineral density. These include older age, the female gender, lower body weight, minimal exercise participation, small body frame, genetics, early menopause, nutritional strategies lacking in nutrients that strengthen bones, low dietary calcium, and low vitamin D levels. Modifiable contributing factors include chronic inactivity, low body mass index, low lifetime calcium index, low vitamin D levels, certain medications, smoking, and alcohol. Osteoporosis is more common in females than in males and is more common in Caucasians and Asians. The incident rate increases with age. Disclaimer alert, disclaimer alert. Please see a medical professional to get an evaluation for your bone mineral density. Do not hesitate. Start early and prevent this painful and performance limiting condition. Osteoporosis is a condition that is preventable. So please see a medical professional, get your annual checkups, get x-rays done if you think you have this condition and get a DEXA scan done if you think you have this condition. So please see a medical professional. Viewing this video does not take the place of seeing a medical professional. Please let me repeat that. Viewing this video does not take the place of seeing a medical professional. Please start your exercise programs at your current health, fitness, and strength levels, not at the level that you used to be able to do. Please start any exercise at your current strength, health, and fitness levels. Never perform an exercise that elicits or intensifies symptoms. If an exercise elicits or intensifies symptoms, stop immediately and find a viable substitute. Osteoporosis is caused by an imbalance of bone resorption and bone remodeling, leading to decreased skeletal mass. In most individuals, bone mass peaks in the third decade after which bone resorption exceeds bone formation. Failure to reach a normal peak bone mass or acceleration of bone loss can lead to osteoporosis. Bone loss increases the risk of sustaining an osteoporotic fracture. Osteoporotic fractures lead to a significant decrease in quality of life with increased morbidity, mortality, and disability. There are two classifications of osteoporosis, primary osteoporosis and secondary osteoporosis. Primary osteoporosis is related to the aging process in conjunction with decreased hormone levels. Secondary osteoporosis is caused by diseases or their treatments. Men are much more likely than women to have secondary osteoporosis. Diseases that may lead to osteoporosis include hyperparathyroidism, anorexia, malabsorption, hyperthyroidism, or overtreatment of hypothyroidism, chronic renal failure, Cushing's disease, and any disease that can lead to long-term immobilization. Secondary amenorrhea for more than one year from various causes, including non-estrogen hormonal therapy, low body weight, 
and excessive exercise can lead to rapid loss of bone mass. When seeing the medical professional for osteoporosis, you want to ask for the following tests. You want to have your spine x-rayed. You want to ask for a DEXA scan, which is the measurement of bone density. You want to ask for lab testing, and you want to find out your calcium and vitamin D levels. Prevention is easier, faster, and less expensive than rehabilitation. I'm gonna say that one more time, and this includes for osteoporosis and for any other condition. Prevention is easier, faster, and less expensive than injury rehabilitation. When we speak about prevention and management of osteoporosis, there are numerous strategies that can be put in place. Participation in physical activity is advocated for older individuals because of its protective effects on bone mineral density. Bone remodeling increases in response to mechanical stress. The mechanical stress associated with exercise is delivered via two methods, the longitudinal loading of the skeleton, such as during weight-bearing exercise, and the tensile pull of the muscles on the bone. Resistance training, weight-bearing physical activity, and exercises that improve balance, such as yoga and tai chi, are encouraged to prevent and manage osteoporosis. It is very important to maintain ideal body weight as being underweight correlates with increased incident of bone loss and fractions. Weight-bearing exercises such as walking combined with strength training and balance exercises will yield optimal preventative effects. Resistance training, such as body weight exercises using resistance bands and weights, are a great way to strengthen the muscles, which in turn will help to strengthen the bone. You can perform Pilates, you can perform exercises such as push-ups, pull-ups, any type of exercise that is going to strengthen the muscles. Nutritional factors that you want to include in your strategies are sufficient caloric intake, adequate protein intake, and adequate calcium and vitamin D supplementation. Sun exposure during non-peak hours will help to increase vitamin D levels. Some other supplements that you want to look at are boron, which is naturally found in almonds, hazelnuts, Brazil nuts, dried apricots, avocado, dates, and raisins, and also strontium, which is naturally found in spinach, lettuce, carrots, peas, beans, potatoes, celery, and grains such as wheat and barley. As a doctor of chiropractic, I have seen numerous patients with osteo and obviously you can still get treated by the chiropractor, but the chiropractor has to do things in a much gentler fashion. So please see a medical professional. You can see a doctor of chiropractic like myself, or you can see another type of doctor and do yourself a big favor. Start exercising, do some resistance training, do some weight bearing exercises and work on your nutrition add more protein, add a few more calories. You want to make sure that your muscles stay strong, especially the muscles around the spine, and keep your joints as healthy as possible. You want to make sure that you are getting enough calcium and enough vitamin D. Thank you everyone for watching today's episode of Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report where I covered osteoporosis. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am the author of Running, Maximize Performance and Minimize Injuries. You can visit my website, championshipchiropractic.com to find more information on the book and also to find a link to where you can purchase the book. Please visit my website, championshipchiropractic.com, where you can also find my blog. My blog contains articles on chiropractic care, sports medicine, spine health, nutrition, exercise, and fitness. Thank you for watching today's video. Please feel free to like this video. If you have questions, feedback, or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Also, please subscribe to my YouTube page. I would greatly appreciate that please do yourself a big favor and train hard, but train smart. Get adequate rest between your training sessions. Utilize nutritional and supplementation strategies that work 
for you, stay injury free, prevent all injuries, rehabilitate all injuries, and accomplish your goals.